just looked at it went, oh. you know, like everything, like my whole living room draws into my mouth, like, oh. you know, because like, I'm breathing so hard because I'm looking at this damn dress. Hi guys and welcome back. So today I wanted to do a video which is really being requested by you lot. It is about how to dress for your body shape. Hopefully at the end of this you'll have a lot of different tips, a lot of, lot of different guidelines on what you can do for when you go out shopping or when you are looking online and browsing. I decided to focus this video on dresses because it is summertime and we are all about wearing dresses at the moment. So I figured if I do talking about my favorite or some of my favorite looking summer dresses out there at the moment but this time skew it towards what suits you and your individual shape so hopefully that it's like two in one sort of video and I hope that this really finally answers your question and helps you so if that appeals to you just keep watching I'll just get stuck in <laughs> All right, first up is big boobs. So if you are somebody, your body shape blends towards being more like top shelf heavy, then the type of dresses that you need to sort of look for are anything that has this. You want to emphasize showing all of this because it just flatters. When you've got like this coming out here, anything that sort of scoops around or does this or crosses over like this, I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Try and avoid dresses that have like a million little tiny functional or non-functional covered buttons that run all the way down the middle of your boobs because what that's going to do in the widest sort of pulling part of you here is the buttons are just going to go like this. And that looks, oh, I don't even have to tell you. I don't have to tell you how that looks. Need Supply has this dress, it's called the Pharaoh. I think it's the Helena dress. I'll put it on the screen here or here so you can see. Gorgeous dress, also on sale by the way. I like this dress because I know it looks all covered up here, but this is a either or. Some women, at least I imagine, if you've got big boobs, you don't necessarily want to always have this or have this. What if you actually want to wear something that's a bit higher? This dress gives you that option, but what I like about it is that it's a button-up dress. So you can button it down, almost like a shirt dress, as low as you want it to go. And then, therefore, you've got that V-neck front effect on a stunning dress that is a perfect transitional piece. This dress, wear this with red boots, like heeled boots, like this little stack heel or block heel boot. Take up the red in that dress and put that so it disappears under the skirt. Oh God! That's gonna look so good in the autumn time. So this is, to me, the perfect transitional dress. <laughs> Another style I saw is the Need Supply Felix dress, I believe it's called. I was drawn to this because of two reasons. I like the higher front here that it's got because your boobs are out here and the material covers over your boobs like that. And then to counteract or balance out the big boobs here, you've got the ruffle at the bottom. And I love how that balances out the bigger boobs here and you've got like the flounce at the bottom there. I think that is so flattering and just gives that kind of hourglassy sort of, I could imagine Adele wearing a dress like that for a concert. Yeah, I really could. Or that woman from Sex, not Sex and the City, that woman from uh, Mad Men. What's her name? Tell me her name. You know the one I'm talking about? Voluptuous woman, she had like big boobs. Oh my God. She was just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> If you like tea dresses, I also think those are a good bet for you. Mango does a couple of good ones. Everything I'm talking about is gonna be shown on the screen and also listed below. But Mango does some really good tea dresses and Topshop as well. To me, they are on the high street mark. They are really killing it with tea dresses. And I found a lot of tea dresses are, have like a little seam going under here, which is perfect for if you've got a little bit of a boob to you. Tea dresses generally have a V front here. They usually have a seam going under here, which is like the perfect area for like your boobs to be in. And then just the skirt goes slightly in for it and it just flares out because it skims off. Oh, if I had bigger boobs, I mean, I love tea dresses anyway, but if I had bigger boobs, I'd be all over that. And I don't need to tell you about wrap dresses. Wrap dresses are your best friend. I do not need to tell, you already know. If you've got big boobs, you already know about, I'm sure, about what the effect of a wrap dress does. They really do look gorgeous on, and there's so many out there. Again, I'm gonna show you on the screen here. Everything is listed below, but they are beautiful, really flattering. They just 
have that effect of going in and out and they've got that space for your boobs and they give you a little bit of a chest hit. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Another body shape is if you hate your arms. Now, if this is sort of like a micro category because it's not really a body shape, but it is something that a lot of women sort of have problems with. They hate their arms and they prefer if they're covered. So if that is you, you need to look for any kind of item that in my opinion, whether it is a midi, a maxi or a miniature cut, has a sleeve that goes off and doesn't sort of tie here or has any sort of tightness here or is narrow you want it to be wide but again i'm showing on the screen what i'm talking about but those because they're so wide and make sure you get it in a really loose flowing fabric it has the effect of making your arm look smaller than it is because the fabric comes out even though it's laying low even though it's laying sort of flat on you it's a wide fabric so you've got that there and your arm is peeking out from underneath and another trick is to try and make sure that it stops at the smallest part of your arm so if maybe your fattest or widest part of your arm is say here don't get a dress that stops here you want to get something that stops lower on the more sort of narrower part of your arm and that is going to just be absolutely perfect on you so, so you can also go for dresses which have a full sleeve to them. There are some beautiful, beautiful dresses, whether it's a peasant poet style sleeve that comes in here and it billows here, or you can have other ones, which I'm gonna show you on the screen. This one from H&M that I saw that I really liked. So there's a few options that's there out for you. One of my favorite dresses that I saw is from Free People. Now this is a really interesting dress because look at it here, okay? So it's got sleeves, but look at it here. You see, so the sleeves come off. No, the sleeves, no, well, yeah. God, I'm so freaking confused. I think this is genius because I love anything that looks like it's, that's multifunctional, that can be worn one way, but you can also wear it another way. But, oh, I think that's such a smart summer dress and you don't often see that, convertible summer dresses like that. Now, if you are short and petite, then the best dresses for you are those which are structured and are fitted to you, whether it be straight up and down, or maybe it just goes in at the waist and then flares out. Those are absolutely stunning on petites. I find that the length of the dress is crucial. You don't want to go for a full on max that's going down to your ankles because it will overwhelm and swim your body a little bit because you are smaller. But if you are small and petite, you want to be able to show off that figure. I'm shocked Bob I saw this dress by Black Halo. I like this because it's just got enough structure and it's just got enough ruffle details to flatter a smaller, shorter frame. And it's in a timeless sort of classic shape. So I don't think that will date too quickly. Height is something that you should definitely consider because anything that sort of elevates you a little bit will help to balance everything out and just make you a little bit taller if that is what you want. So I could see wearing that particular the dress the black halo with a pair of like gladiator sandals that just go up oh so gorgeous i'm going to show you ones here that i think would look perfect with it but that's if you want to go with flats you could always obviously wear sandals that have a little bit of a heel whether it's an espadrille that would look stunning the castanet espadrilles the black castanet espadrilles the one that i have with that dress oh god Now, if you are petite, but you are round, so you're more of an apple, so you've got a bit of a tummy, um, you want to look for anything that, again, you want to look at the height or the length of the dress. You want to make sure that it is probably around your knee, just below the knee. You can also wear it above your knees, but you want to make sure that you're picking out dresses that don't emphasize your middle. Instead, you want it to skim and to flatter. And I saw a couple of dresses online, and I'm just, again, I'm gonna show you pictures here. And to me, these are gorgeous and I think these are perfect if you are that kind of shape. One, because they're not going to drown you lengthwise and two, because they have a little bit of structure to them which is more flattering because you want to have a little bit of definition from the dress and they also skim off of you so you don't have to worry about like holding your belly in or if you're someone who's just like eating a lot and you've got like a massive food baby you can wear something like this and it's going to look very flattering it's very modern but at the same time it's doing so it's double duty it's very modern but it is helping to hide that middle section that you are more conscious of and you don't really want to sort of draw too much attention to 
Also tunic style dresses and shirt dresses, those are usually quite helpful if you have a larger stomach area. Also empire cuts, those are really good because they come here and they just kind of like go flat over here. So instead of like having the seam at your waist, which is your widest part, you've got the seam up here instead. Also trapeze style and kimono style dresses are really good. You want to stick to smaller prints, ditzy prints, what I call them, um, or just avoid prints altogether and to just stick to a solid color because again it doesn't break up the eye it just goes up and down with the eye and it keeps the focus on the silhouette of the dress Now, if you have wide or broad shoulders, then you want to avoid one of the biggest trends that is out currently, which is the off-the-shoulder dress. Those just make your eyes go east-west instead of north-south. So anything that does not to do that is what you want. Go for a cap sleeve, but make sure it has like a diagonal cut, so it's not cut like that, just cut like that. And I'm gonna show you on screen what I'm talking about. But those have the effect of tricking the eye and just making you look a little bit smaller up top than you really are because that's something you sort of don't want to draw too much attention to. Also, a basic rule of thumb for colour when you're picking a dress is to avoid brighter colours here and the darker here. The darker the colour on you, wherever the, it is on your body, the smaller that part of your body is. I don't care if you hate your shoulders or not, I love this dress myself. So this is absolutely stunning, it's just so in, it's so easy and it's one of those what I call effortless dresses, because you just fling it on and go. So that is gorgeous, and you don't have to think to yourself, oh, I'm gonna look a linebacker, because you're not. Because you've got the balancing out of, you've got your shoulders, which are wider, but you've got this, which is making you look more narrow, and then at the bottom, because it goes inside, then it goes out, you've got that balancing effect of basically the hem is a little bit wider in terms of shape, so it's balancing out the top half of you. So you've got there, there, and then there. So when you get that bottom part and that top part, the width and then the width, perfect. Because you don't want to have, if you've got wide shoulders, I'm just gonna say the letter Y, capital letter Y. Use your imagination here. It doesn't have to be you know, like, uh, massive. It could just be really, really small, but just stay away from anything that has any kind of sleeve, shoulder detail. And if you have no waist, you know the type of women who say, oh, I've got no waist, I'm just boxy. One of my best friends is that way. I would highly suggest that you go for anything and there's dresses out there. Again, I'm going to list them all below and they're all on the screen here. Dresses that give you a waist. Reese has this army green dress and I thought this was perfect. It looks very sort of um, just nonchalant. Just put it on nonchalant. There's that damn word again that I can't say. It looks very casual, but you just tie in such a way it just draws the eye in. As you draw that waist in from the belt, you're just drawing attention to your waistline. Also, I saw this dress on Need Supply and it's on sale. I think it's on clearance. Look at this dress. Look at the paneling and the seaming. You cannot tell me that this dress is not drawing attention to the smallest part of you or trying to create the illusion that that is the smallest part of you. This is absolute bang for your buck if you're looking for a gorgeous drop dead summer dress and you're like just a ruler shape, get this dress. Also Free People has this dress, I'm gonna show it to you on the screen here and that also just draws you in in the middle. I love dresses like this because they're literally so functional, they're doing all the work for you. When you've got hips and an ass, which is a large proportion of the female population, look for dresses that literally skim for days. You just want something that's just gonna, uh, just skim for days, let's just leave it at that. I need to have a clothing line, and I need to have a line of dresses or skirts, and I'm just gonna entitle it Skims for Days. You know, something like that. But I'm telling you, look at these dresses, because when you've got hips and you've got an ass. You want, at least in my opinion, speaking of for the general population of women, you're looking for something that doesn't necessarily sideways make you go like that and in, unless you're like 
the Kardashian family and that's what you want, that's a different story. They flatter you, they just skim off of you in the most gorgeous and flattering and prettiest of ways. Look at this free people linen dress. If this doesn't scream reformation, I don't know what the hell does. In fact, I'm already thinking about adding it to my car and I shouldn't because this is one of those dresses that came back in stock. I'm starting to ramble. This is one of those dresses that came back in stock and I just looked at it and went, oh. You know, like everything, like my whole living room draws into my mouth, like, you know, because like, I'm breathing so hard because I'm looking at this damn dress. Because I was just in, side note, I was in Reformation last week and I did cave on a dress, but I saw dresses just like this free people one, but they were twice as much on, Re on Reformation. And now, oh, anyway, I've got to stick to the point. This is meant for people with asses and hips. And that's me, by the way. I, I'm kind of like lean, but I do have a butt on me. I do have hips on me. So that's why I like anything that skims off. It's so flattering. Also, look at this beautiful anthropology dress. I just think this is lovely. What did they say about it? Oh yeah, the simple tie back and the light and the long bell sleeve. This is stunning. Isn't it gorgeous? Details like that detract as well, in my opinion, from your but and from your from your ass and from your hips because it's got so much pretty detailing about it it's like oh how could you not fall in love with a dress like this regardless actually if, if you have hips or not but if you do these dresses are absolutely made for you if you are very tall then you can absolutely get away with any of the midi or maxi dresses these are all made for you i mean you can certainly get away with them because anyone who's petite they're going to just drown in them but if you are tall you can just wear those with your eyes closed literally because they're just going to look so so good on you you can even afford to wear more patterns because you're so tall already and it's not going to break up the eye in a um, negative way because you can carry it off so there's some example on the screens of what I am talking about okay so that's my lot those are my tips for different styles of dresses to wear depending on your body shape so how you dress for your body shape is absolutely important it's one of the first things you should be thinking of when you walk into any shop and you probably do that unconsciously anyway so I really hope that you use these tips um, as a jumping point to help you when you're next shopping online or going into the store. So if this video helped you in any sort of way, please do just give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, as I always say, to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you next week, Friday. Bye guys. And I don't think the bloopers are gonna be this bad. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of like, you know, plonkers, but there's not too many. So this was a good Friday. Last Friday was awful, wasn't it? My God, those bloopers were about as long as somebody's video on YouTube. Anyway, I'll see you next Friday. <laughs> Bye. which is dresses bouquet bouquet oh god hi guys and welcome back so this uh, uh, the higher front here that it's got onto it got onto it you've got you go down and you've got like the like the ruffle everything i'm showing is going to be shown on this screen everything i'm showing is going to be shown is your width if that makes any sense if that makes sense <laughs> One of my favorite dresses actually that I saw, one, sure, oh God. On shop up, I saw, on shop, the shop up. <laughs> or shirt dresses, those, those. Oh yes. Also, if you have no waist, so you're almost like,
Summer, 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 summer time. Oh God. But you've got this diagonal sleeve that's helping to trick the eye to make you look a bit net, net, net. <laughs> oh, oh, I was doing so well.